This restaurant is my life. I even gave it my name. Bishops. Owning a restaurant is like hosting a dinner party for friends every night. But lately, people aren't simply accepting the presentation on their plate. Customers want to know what's in the food and how it's grown. It's a minefield. They're asking about chemicals and pesticides. And last night, someone asked about genetically modified food. That threw me. I'm not sure what you mean by genetically modified. I knew absolutely nothing about it. It made me question my responsibility as a restaurateur. Food is my life. And yet I know so little about it. I need to learn how food's grown now. And I think I know someone who can get me started. Michael Abelman's book is a good intro to how food is produced. In the 1980s, he visited farmers all over the world. When I had finished that part of my journey, I needed to see the impacts of our current system, of our industrial system. And so I visited the, the vast fields of industrial agriculture in the Central Valley of California. 60% of the fruits and vegetables consumed in North America produced in this one valley. These were vast, lonely spaces. Hundreds of acres with a single tractor in the distance. But then I discovered that the impacts of what was happening in those fields went far beyond my immediate emotional experience. That people, while they thought they were buying cheap food, were actually paying for it many times after they left the checkout counter in their personal health, in the health of the land. The people doing the work are paying a heavy price. I don't think there are very many redeeming qualities to the industrialization of, of uh, uh, our food system. It's unraveled our health and our environment, and um, we're going to have to figure out a different way to do it.